So, I saw that this is 33 minutes. I could have cried tears of joy. So, you know, this means my reaction is going to be at least, at least 45 minutes. Ah, and I'm just excited to really... Oh, there's no stop. That's fine. I'm so excited just to hear them really sing. For everyone that doesn't know, I have a whole... I've read it to Red Velvet's entire discography besides the last three EPs, so on Patreon. This is so long. Oh, I'm fucking excited. Oh my god, this is full. This is so weird. This is so surreal. Let's go. Yes, we're starting to pause already. It's so interesting hearing the differences in how, like, I'm actually glad to actually hear Yeri's voice a bit more because I don't usually hear her voice in recorded music. So I'm starting to hear um, that curly tone that she has, but it also has a nice vibrato. And with Joy, Joy's voice is smaller and it feels a bit more fragile and it has an anxiety, but it also pushes through. And Sogi is also, I've also mentioned that she has quite a nasal presence when she sings as well, but too, Sogi has like a darker tone to her voice. Um, but I really have, I'm glad to hear Yeri. Mm. Mm. And then Wendy's like this big open voice. <laughs> it's the first song, Wendy. Are you actually all right? Are you actually all right? It's the effortless effortlessness. That's a soprano. She's just up there and her voice is just like soaring and she looks relaxed and her eyebrows are obviously moving a little bit, but that's just part of the mechanism. She just looks so comfortable. Is she actually all right? <laughs> And the vibrato. Jesus. Oh, come on, Echo. Oh, okay.
<laughs> no, Wendy Wendy needs to calm the fuck down. Jesus. Nothing from Irene so far. <laughs> Okay. It still blows my mind that she's a rapper because Irene is the most like she is the beauty standard, she's a visual, she's this like typical Korean girl, and then she's a rapper. You just wouldn't assume for her to be the rapper. I would assume, I don't know, but I mean, they're all kind of very typical in that sense, actually. But yeah. And also, she has, she's the one with the least like. Uh, she's always very demure. I'm hoping for some group harmonies, but I don't think it will happen. I love this mini, I think. This mini was great. So Irene is actually after Wendy the least nasally. The way she sung that was very open and it had a nice airy, she has an airiness to her voice. So I want to hear her sing more. Very nice. Even there, she's not nasally at all. Thank you. 
Doing to me here. So I was looking at Wendy, thinking she's the one singing, and it's Joy. That was gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do it again. Yes. It's a I think it's a uh, Yeri doing that. Could be so good. That chord. <laughs> they shut me up and I love that. Thank you for proving me wrong. I want more of this. No, 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 no. <laughs> I forgot. I, I don't remember that bit in the song because I just listened. I've just listened to this as well recently. I mean, maybe I did like it, but I told you this was gonna be an hour long, and I don't give a fuck. And even to you lot, which I like. Ooh. Let me just check we're recording. <laughs> Again, again. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Look at Ender voice here. I'm satisfied. Oh shit. Also, another point I want to make is sometimes in a group setting, I love sometimes deciding when you're going to have your strongest voice do the lead part or support the backing. And I think having Wendy do the backing for this part because Joy and um, Sugi had just enough they have enough unique tonality to carry those solo parts nicely whilst wendy's voice is in the back kind of adding to um yeri and possibly irene as well was saying i didn't even notice but yeah i think that was a great balance really good balance because you wanted that delicate voice <laughs> Sing, man. Let me get my iPad. I need this note. Let's just check what Wendy just did there. I want to know. And that sounds like I bet that's, I think that's an E. E S. F E to F Wow What's your name? Yeah oh, Wow, amazing This standard of when I and then people get frustrated. This is what I mean by what SM would you to what whether you to put in the group vocally. This is insane. Hmm. Nice. Joy's voice is really grabbing me. It's a vibrato. Mm. 
That note on its own was so resonant. Oh Lord. D. Oh, so fucking soon. This shit, this shit does just I was going to know does not actually. F again. It's still F, okay. So F is her money now. But they... Oh. It's going to F, okay. Again. I wonder if she's gonna pass the F. I'm intrigued, so I think she will. Wendy, man, you are a treasure. You better know. I think I like this one. This one. Jessica's daughter, man. I love Irene's tone. I don't know why Irene doesn't sing more often. Oh my god. Maybe it's just obviously the passive fit. She sounds really good here. Wow, her tone is. Mm, I forgot. Lows. Lows in her voice. Sing, Sogi. Okay. 
Oh yeah, I remember this because I love Joy in this. Irene, yes. Yes, Irene. They've picked some good songs, man. Such a variety. Also, guess what I'm going today, guys? I'm going to Kwangya. Yeah. yeah. I am going to Kwangya. <laughs> <laughs> I heard her die from go. I heard it. Woo! And she's so relaxed. I don't know if that's the original backing from the track or someone's doing that. I was gonna say with Wendy, you can hear her um, the difference of her belt in her mid. So when she's doing those C sharps and those Ds, I think Ds the the limit of when she is like it's more chestier. And when she gets to those Fs, she mixes them a little bit and they have that nice um, piercing and it works well because it still sounds really comfortable. Um, but I'm really curious if she can go to a G. But let me see. Or even an F-sharp. You can sing, man. You can fucking sing. Shit. Oh, my tune. I love the choreo to this when Irene's got the... The sequin dress, I think, with the long hair. Oh, she's just, she's just, she has that same energy of Taeyeon and Winter. I just love, like, that persona. Yes, yeah, but you better.
we've gone to the E. Yeah. It's, it's gotten more of that sound now to make it a little bit easier. Nice. And yeah, it was lower, so it's a bit more, a bit more open. I was thinking I had a feeling what's coming next. Hey, it's a party. Red Velvet discography because I love the way Sorgi's tone works with descending lower harmonies. She did it in Hot and Cold, and that's when I was like, "Oh, she eats those parts up so nicely, and her tone works magically for it." Show them the catalog, bitch. I'm missing 
To watch her Mujin service right after this.
Final, don't you think? Like, and it's it. And someone did say this on my reaction that it does feel like um, 
<laughs> in the comments that like, it just feels like a goodbye song but like something about it it feels like the end of a movie or like just it sounds like sounds like a finale and at the end of just hearing the whole career it just sounds like a perfect like ending for the set list and it just feels and it makes the song feel even more final especially going into that key change which sounds happy but it's still kind of like melancholic and a little bit sad <laughs> Oh, that was so pretty. Irene's voice, man. That was a fantastic. Let's relive Sinzalebim for the 15th Sinzalebim for the 15 billionth time. I, that was fucking amazing um, and it's funny because I had a feeling the R&B songs although I love listening to them I had a feeling they wouldn't translate as strongly in the killing voice because they've got so many overlapping parts and I knew we wouldn't get those exact harmonies live so there was actually more of the low energy part of the whole thing was the the, um, the velvet part but they still sounded good um, and I'm glad they showcased and um, such a wide range of the music like Perfect stuff.